April 7th, and I have the incubator all set up. It's been running for 12 hours or so just to make sure that everything is working well. And yesterday I made a trip to Fredericton up and visited with the lady who breeds the quail again. And I picked up my Bob White hatching eggs and I'm just about to put them in the incubator for the first time. Guess they're in there okay. You see bits of paper towel here on the ends and some here. There's 11 eggs in each one of those rows. Wasn't room for a 12th one and one egg left over. I have one egg short of, uh, of two dozen which is, is fine. The, the uh, quail weren't laying as well the last couple of days or so I guess but doesn't really make any difference. I guess I said yesterday when I was talking to her in Fredericton, if I get 50% hatch rate, I will be happy. I really don't want two dozen birds anyway, so we'll see. I had them in this rack overnight um, so that they will have a chance to, to settle. And you're supposed to have them large end up in the incubator, which is going to be very difficult with these small eggs. They're basically all large end up there, but these ones here have fallen over on their side and I can't put these, these uh, wires that hold them are adjustable, but I can't go in any closer because it would start breaking eggs. So we will see what happens eventually, I guess. Put the cover back on this and let the incubation start. Three weeks from today, should start seeing some hatching. This, uh, I've got the cradle turned off, the thing that turns the, the eggs. I'm just plugging it back in now. Very slowly, this, this whole incubator rocks back and forth. I don't know how many revolutions it makes an hour, but it's, it's a very slow process. It'll come down this way, and then it'll stop and go back the other way and lean over this side. So that keeps the eggs turning, so to speak, even though the actual eggs aren't being moved. It's the whole incubator that turns. Well, what follows here is a collection of clips that I took yesterday when I was visiting with the quail breeder. Uh, she has hatched out several different varieties, including silky chickens, since I was there a few weeks ago, and uh, several varieties of, of small quail, beautiful little birds. And uh, So I took some clips. The the, once again, I'll leave the soundtracks. It's just us chatting in the background. It's not meant to be instructional or anything. I just thought you would enjoy seeing the birds again. I certainly did. So I'll keep you updated on this in a few, oh, I guess probably a week from today, I'll candle them for the first time and see how many of them are, are in the process of producing little quails. <laughs> And these are silkies and some frizzles, you say? And some sizzles. Sizzles. Yeah, we've got uh, the yellow one. Uh, this one over here is a sizzle. It's a paint sizzle. And then we've got, these are all... Is this little guy with the different colors on his head? That, that's just a, a partridge. Partridge uh, silky. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it just, uh, yeah, and it looks like he, they look like, like it's yellow. But it's really white. <laughs> what are they doing to me? Oh, he's awful cute. <laughs> These are so small. Oh, those are two days in a row? Yeah. Wow. White one with the dot on, and some golden, and some Tibetans there. This the dark one with the, oh, the tuxedo with the white on its yeah, chest? Yeah, yeah, tuxedos too. Huge man for tuxedos too. So. But I like the, the golden ones there. Or the, I guess they call them rosettas or something like that. Yeah, I can see these guys when they're all grown up. Yeah. 
The one with the dark spot on its head. Are English? That's, oh, that's English. I think that's what they call them in English. And the, uh, the pure white ones are AMs. And then there's various colors of silvers, too. I think the dark, dark one is a plat called platinum. Horse. They grew fast, too. Oh, my goodness. It's really tall. See, he's starting to change. And then the, gold, the red golden on the other side. Didn't want to, to get... Uh, you so told me before, but what is this guy? This is a Lady Amherst. Other than very beautiful and exotic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he, and he's very um, he he's this he's the same type of pheasant species of pheasant as the golden and the red golden. Um, he but he's always been this bird has always been a little bit nervous. Focus. They have more block heads and the females have rounded and they're a little bit smaller the females.